Welcome to Podcast 31. It's four more than 27. We're here, Brian. 31, baby. Zach, the makeshift project. That's who we are. At the end of this video, we are going to be doing the one chip challenge. I am not looking forward to it at all. I'm actually horrified for it, but we're, we're going to deal with things here. I'm terrified. You got I'm your so milk? Scared. You got I got milk? my milk. We're going to jump right into this one. Brian, can you guess which state is closest to Africa? Which U.S. state? Which U.S. state is closest to Africa? I think you're trying to trick me. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing these days. Hawaii. No, it's not. It's oh. not Hawaii. I thought you were trying to trick me, and I was going the other way. Um, but I'm going to say that it is, you know what? I don't want to guess like the obvious one that you're thinking I'm going to guess. Why don't you just guess it? Florida. Florida. It's not exactly. Florida. Exactly. I knew it wasn't Florida. Florida is so much more west than I North thought Carolina. it North Carolina. It's not North Carolina, no. South Carolina. Not South Carolina. Is it Maine? Either. It's Maine. Really? It is Maine. That's I think the U.S. Is, is tilted, right? Obviously. It's like a... And because it's rounded, the tip of Maine is actually the closest U.S. Hmm. state to Africa. That's interesting. Yeah, when you're looking at a map, it's still kind of sketchy. But yeah. if you actually, you know, measure it That's out. That's interesting. Maine is the closest. I was shocked when someone told me that. Well, I got it in my first four guesses. Yeah. Well, there's not a lot of guesses that you would have. All right. I got something for you. All right. Let me hear it. The Simpsons predicted the future once again. Again. So, th I mean, they're notoriously known for calling stuff out that's happened. Yeah, I think the maker of The Simpsons is actually a time traveler because in one of the episodes, they have a news anchor explaining the new Barbie, and the new Barbie movie is coming out right now, right? Okay, yes. And following with Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie. I know that one. Dua Lipa's in it. At the end of his skit where he's describing the new Barbie, the new Barbie movie, whatever he's describing... He walks away from the mic. He comes back and he goes, by the way, Donald Trump has been arrested. In the in the Simpsons in, version. In the Simpsons. Wait, wait. Oh, wait. Okay. And it's at the same time now. Are people going to investigate this guy? I I don't know why they haven't. I don't even know what he looks like, the creator of the Simpsons. I don't either. But it, it's, it, it seems like he's just calling stuff out. Like, is the world reacting to the Simpsons and they're just using it? Is this all a sick joke? Is that what they're doing? There's no way that I don't, I have no idea. It just doesn't make I any sense. I feel like sense. it's really flying under the radar. Like people see it scrolling through Instagram. They're like, whoa, that's crazy. They don't care. And then no they just keep going. No one cares. We got to look into this. I mean, they, the, what, what else they had? I know they had 9 11. 9 11. Yeah. A lot they of had, stuff. Donald Trump becoming president. Yeah. And like that same shot of him coming down the yep. uh, escalator. There's a bunch, there's so many things. Was it the Pat McAfee show yeah. that has had that rundown and he's like, he flips out about it? Yeah. It's insane. We should. I just wonder. I wonder what has to be done. Is you think there's stuff in the Simpsons now that we don't know is Probably. predicting the future, or do you think it's only like newer episodes? Probably. Maybe the Simpsons movie. Do you think the Simpsons movie has? And they had the dome. Oh, you think we're gonna live in a in a Maybe. dome? That would well, be. Disneyland is actually doing that. What, they're, <gasps> they're doming up. Yeah. Did you know about that? It got accepted. They're gonna put a dome over Disney. Why? So they can uh, control the weather. So if it rains, it doesn't rain in Disney. That sounds insane. It does sound insane. I could be totally wrong, but I saw it. <laughs> well, now, now you're putting stuff out there into the world, and people could either believe it or not. I Who think knows? it's going to happen. They're going to put a dome around Disney. How, do you know how yeah. big Disney is? Huge. Yeah, I know. How are they even going to... How do you even build that? I don't know. Do you build it, then you drop it over on top, or do you build it like up as you go and around? You build it up as you go, I think. I don't think you drop it. It's our top. conversation uh, last time with tunnels and bridges. Yeah, it's just it's, impressive. It's just something that building I'm never stuff gonna, is impressive. I'm never going to understand it. Me either. Uh, a question as a as a guy. I'm a guy. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. So I know if you shave your arm or leg, mm -hmm. the hair grows back. Yeah. Why? Why has my arm? Why does your arm hair grow? That's a great question. Actually, what? There I, has to be a limit. I think it caps right. Why doesn't yeah. it grow? That's a great question. <laughs> I don't like, know. I'm like looking at my arm. I don't know. But if because you I got it. a tattoo right here, and it still grew to this, it's the same length. Yeah, and it probably and they shaved this, but it's the same length as all the other. And it came back relatively quick, and yeah, then it and just it stops. stops. That doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. I've been like, yeah, the hair on the head can grow as long as it wants. That's a fantastic question. My mind like is, is my blown right now. Like, I don't know. Is my hair getting longer? There's no way. And it's just moving so slow that I have no idea? Well, it could be just moving super slow, but why does it move super slow after it gets to a certain limit? No, I don't know. Yeah, this is one of those. That's uh, a really good question. We need a scientist. Like my leg hair is just the same length it's always been. 
Yeah, it's, it's it'll been that never get, really it'll long never time. get longer. That's a good point. I don't know. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving on. Can you guess five celebrities who own their own tequila brand? Oh, man. There's at least 10 to 15. Let's go with Pitbull. No, I don't think he does. Um, who owns Avion? Does The Rock? The Rock has his own tequila brand, yes. Does he? Because I'm thinking... That's one. Mark Wahlberg. He does not. Okay. He has Wahlberger, though. Let's start naming rappers. Drake. No. No rappers are on it. There is a rapper, but he's like... Bad Bunny. No, 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 no. <laughs> Going down the wrong road. He's um one of the mo- richest rappers. Eminem? No. Kanye West? No. Think of one of the rappers that like would own a tequila brand. That's one of the richest top five rappers. Oh, uh, P. Diddy. P. Diddy is one. P. You got Diddy. two. Uh, are there females on there? There's one female. There's two females, I think. There's probably more. Beyonce, Shakira. No, no. Right. Who owns Casamigos? I don't, I don't have I don't that know. answer to that question. No. He's one of the sexiest men alive. George Clooney. George Clooney. He owns Casamigos. I did not know that. Oh, you know what? I actually think I did know that. Yeah. You got The Rock, George Clooney, and P. Diddy. Because they like promoted it in um, yeah. Ocean's Eleven or whatever. There's a big time basketball player that owns a tequila company. Huge. LeBron James. No. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan has a tequila company. Yes. Is that a cool thing to do, I guess? I guess just, so. Like, just start there's a lot team. of A-list people in this. And then there's a duo, one of your favorite TV shows of all time. Oh, um, Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul. They have their own tequila brand. They have brand. their own, too. Yes. Damn. That's, that's just, five. That's nuts, though. Yeah. So does Kendall Jenner, Adam Levine, Rita Ora, Nick Jonas. There's a bunch of people. But why don't they put their faces on it more? I don't know. Like, why? If you're going to have a brand that's like, I guess it's the lifestyle of, of the tequila. Yeah. But, like, why would, if, if I knew. Like, I mean, realistically, I don't really think they care about the sales. Like, they have enough money. It's probably I just guess. for fun. But I know, like, Conor McGregor's got his whiskey. Yeah. I know people who drink it because they love Conor McGregor. Yes. So why not yeah, as, I guess. Why not create more of the association and like drive yeah. up? Well, I guess if you're a hardcore fan like that, you probably know. I guess so. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like they're not promoting it enough. George Clooney, Casamigos. Should we start a tequila brand? I'm not a big tequila guy. I also don't think I would ever drink anything called makeshift tequila. No, yeah. No, <laughs> no, 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 never. <laughs> They'd be like, where did that come from? Not do that. <laughs> oh, man, that's tough. Did you know that a giraffe can kick in all directions and can also behead a lion with its kick? Wow. Be- it's actually like known to be able to behead and decapitate lions. That's got to be their go-to self-defense move then. Yeah, and I think they get I think lions attack from behind a lot. They donkey kick? I I think. I've never seen giraffe a video kick. of it. Yeah, they giraffe kick or donkey kick. And um yeah, they can decapitate a lion's head. Oh my god. And they, they kill lions. A giraffe can kill a lion. Well, if they can decapitate a lion, they can de- definitely ca- decapitate one of us. The fact that I originally heard was that a uh, giraffe can kick a human in half. Oh, <laughs> like like if you got kicked, think about it. It's like the same thing as a lion. Like you know, I feel like we should start this video off by that. I, but I didn't. A I giraffe could, <laughs> can kick a human. No, that's insane. Keep going. But fine. I didn't. I didn't know if I could find the evidence for that because when I typed this in, wow. it talked about the lion's head. That's kind of terrifying i never i felt like giraffes weren't aggressive animals like that but i guess for self-defense yeah and wow. i always thought they You're blowing my mind today i always yeah i figured it was the neck <laughs> I always thought they, they yeah i guess it's fought the legs. people off with the, the the neck that's pretty crazy i never knew that, that they yeah they're <laughs> that was oh <laughs> that hurt <laughs> oh ow yeah they kicked <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my god! Side of the foot, right on the bone. Um, all right, <laughs> moving on. That was such a bad idea. Like, it was going to come up on yeah, camera. No. Can you guess who was the first Sexiest Man Alive voted in 1985? 1985, let's see. They're- the first Sexiest Man. Well, Tom Cruise had to be around then. Was yeah, he? but I don't know. He's, no. not, he's, not, he's not the guy. Elvis. No. Was Elvis around in 1985? Don't know. Uh, not cultured enough. Was it Michael Jackson? No. It was an actor. An actor. He's still alive. When I think 1985, I think of Michael J. Fox, but he wouldn't be the sexiest man alive. No, not Michael J. Fox. He's definitely older now. Is it De Niro? It is not De Niro. It's not Al Pacino. It is not Al Pacino. Is it a comedy actor or like a serious Not actor? comedy, serious. Oh, Patrick Swayze. No. I like that guess, though. Oh, damn. He's 67. I don't know if that helps me. It probably doesn't. Do you want some movies he was in? Is it Leo? It's not Leo, no. I think he was too young for that. Way too young. Is it like Bruce Willis? No, it's not Bruce Willis. 
It's an iconic name. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, his best movie, I think, is Hacksaw Ridge. Hacksaw Ridge? Yeah, army movie. He was in Daddy's Home too. Uh, you've, you've actually confused me more. Do you know he was in Lethal Weapon 4. So he's an action. Pretty much, yeah. Why can't I? Give me an initial. M is his first name. Mike? It's not like a regular name. Mark? No. Max? His last name is G. Max Gravy. M? <laughs> no. It's, do you want me to tell you? Yeah. It's Mel Gibson. Oh. Mel Gibson. If you told me The Patriot, I would have gotten it. Can't even find that movie. Yeah. On <laughs> the only movie. Okay. Lethal, lethal Weapon is a good one. That's fair. All right. Mel Gibson. Okay. Uh, I'm going to name a category, and then I'm going to tell you a letter. You have to say something in the category with that letter. Let's do it. I want you to name an NBA player that starts with R. Uh, Ricky Rubio. Ricky Rubio. A food that starts with C. Uh, uh, cod. Okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> Corn, maybe, would have been a little easier. Cod. An animal that starts with D. Dog. Okay, that's it. Too quick. That's all I got. <laughs> you went cod. I couldn't think of anything. I was going to say catfish. Catfish? I don't know why. Been, that would have been real bizarre. Yeah, I have one more of those. Do it. I want you to name an NFL player that starts with L. Uh, uh, Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor, nice. A country that starts with M. Uh, Mongolia. Mongo- I knew you were going to say that. I knew it. A golfer that starts with J. Uh, uh, John Rahm. John Rahm. Did he win today? He probably did. He won the Masters. I don't think we changed. he won the Masters. <laughs> Congratulations to John. Congrats, John. Can you guess the most hated NFL player of all time via Bleacher Report? Is it Terrell Owens? It is Terrell it's Owens. Terrell. <laughs> it is. T.O., wow. I don't hate him. I don't either. Uh, T.O., if you're watching. If did you're, he like one of our He liked one of our videos. I forgot. He has. Um, so, T.O., if you actually are watching. You're one of the most loved NFL players by us. We like you. We like. I was. I never had animosity. With <laughs> no, you. never. I just, I just. Never. I don't know why. You're welcome on the show anytime. But he knows he was controversial. Yeah. You know he could still. Terrell Owens could still oh, run he a could forty. Still ball. He. I think his forty time. It's like him and Chad Ochoa. Yeah, he, he could ball. He could ball. On August twenty fifth, twenty twenty two, Terrell Owens ran a forty yard dash in four point three eight seconds. That's insane. That's a lot faster. After than me. being retired and everything, I mean, it's just. I ran a five zero in high school. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I've ran a 4.95. I think it's hard to run fast. Can you guess the highest grossing film from the 1980s? <sighs> yeah, this one's going to be tough for you. Can I look up 1980s movies? Nope. <laughs> Jaws. No, not 1980s. What is that? I think it was 77 or 74. It was close enough. It was right here. Okay, enough. okay, 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 okay. Back to the future. Not back to the future. I'm, ha- I'm proud of you for making that guess. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good job. Yeah, I'm tough with I'm, I'm bad with years. I'm bad with years. This was a movie that uh we watched as in our childhood. It wasn't animated. It wasn't animated? No, but it's a classic story. It's like I watched it in school. Oh gosh, I, I really don't know here. Um A Green Mile. No. <laughs> that was a wild guess. I don't even know. Stupid, stupid, stupid. There's a bike in the movie. Ghost Rider. No. <laughs> it's not. That's it. A, a, sorry, a bicycle. Got it. There's a bicycle. Oh, I know what it is. Do you? E.T.? Yeah, you had it the first. It's E.T. Not, phone it's home? It's not the pinky. This is one billion dollars. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's E.T., the extraterrestrial. Can't say that you word. have a tough time saying that. E.T., the extraterrestrial, um, was the number one grossing film from the 1980s. Interesting. Crazy Very stuff. Very interesting. Can you guess the highest grossing film from the 1970s? Jaws. <laughs> Not Jaws. I really thought it was Jaws. That was I like the guess. Jaws two. No. Jaws three. Nope. Jaws four. I don't think they have a Jaws four. Jaws five. And if you watch anything past Jaws one, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Jaws two, I don't know. Um Star Wars. Star Wars. Really? Yes. Oh see, you d- you could do it. Let's go. You, you believed in yourself and yeah, you did. That was it. good. It's all about confidence. Exactly. Just like golf. <laughs> Can you name all eight planets in order? Come on, Zach. Yeah, I can. Here we go. I can. Let's see. You got Mercury. That's number one. Then yes. Venus. Yep. Then the Earth. Then Mars. And then you got the good old asteroid belt. The asteroid belt's there. That's the splitter. And then Jupiter. Yes. Then Saturn. Yes. Then Uranus. Yes. And then Neptune. And you know what? Shout out Pluto for being the tail end. I know you're a dwarf planet, but we still love you here. Why not throw them in? Why not throw it in? We don't discriminate. You know, if I got that wrong, that probably would have been pretty bad for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. I'm impressed. 
That was good stuff. Do you know what galaxy we live in? The Milky Way. Good. Proud of you. Candy bar. <laughs> Candy bar. Can you name the six basic nutrients that the human body needs? I'm not sure I'm interpreting this right. Okay. Do you mean like like the food pyramid? No. Do you want me to start you off? No. Okay. You need protein. That's one of them. You need carbs. That is one of them. Fats. You got it. There's three more? There's three more. I thought there was only four. No, there's three more. Lipids? No. Good guess, though. There's something around like hydration, like water? Water. Okay. Water's on there. You need two more. Parents tell their kids to take their... Vitamins. Vitamins. Oh, I knew that. And then there's one more. Hold on. That kind of goes hand in hand with vitamins and... Yeah, it's minerals. It is minerals. minerals. Nice. Not too shabby. I, uh, I took there. plant bio in college, and those were definitely listed at some point. Good stuff. I love it. <laughs> there are secret tunnels under Disney World. Uh, can I one-up you here? One-up me here. I think there's secret... They're trash tunnels. No? N- they might be, but no. The trash system of Disney World exists underneath Disney World. So when you throw something in a garbage, really? it goes underneath the park. Wow. I didn't know that, but that's not what these tunnels are for. <laughs> okay. These but. tunnels are for cast members. So cast members can take these tunnels underground to their desired location for signings, for meet and greets with the kids, so that they don't have to take their masks off and their costumes off in front of the audience. So they meet and greet with the mask on? They meet and greet with the costumes on. They go under the tunnels either to the locker rooms out of the park or to their other desired locations. Disney World sounds like an insane place. Sounds like there's a lot more going on there that we give it credit for. I think Walt Disney's head is frozen underneath the park, too. I think his whole body is. He's going to come alive. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that would I be kinda, wild. I partially made that up, but it's true. There's a rumor. No, there's it's not. A rumor. It's probably not true. Ah. Um, all right. I got another one. OJ Simpson was considered for the lead role in The Terminator. That would have been pretty crazy. The Terminator. It was Arnold's instead, but... The funny part is, the crazy part is, is that the director, James Cameron, great director, rejected the choice of O.J. Simpson because he didn't think the, quote, this likable, goofy, kind of innocent guy could pull off a cyborg assassin. Oh, man. I mean... (laughs) Just came right around. O.J. Simpson, pretty <laughs> silly, funny, goofy guy. Silly, he's, he's funny, so goofy, <laughs> innocent guy. Way, way too likable of a person. He could not play the cyborg oh, assassin. Man. Isn't was, that crazy that he said that? That's it. That's bizarre. That's it's nuts. Nuts, man. And O.J. Simpson was in Roots. What's Roots? It's like an old TV show about. Oh, really? Uh, maybe Damn. slaves. Damn. Yeah, that's that's wild. <laughs> I have one more. I have a couple more, but I only don't yeah. do one. But he was an actor. O.J. Simpson acted. Oh, he, was, he was involved. Interesting, interesting. Kunta Kinte. Kunta Kinte. Same show. Roots. I'm dropping knowledge on you. Name 30 words that don't have an A in it in 30 seconds. Are you ready? I guess. Ready, set, go. It, it's, juggle. <laughs> uh, kite, juggle? Kite, bite, right, uh, uh, Mike. <laughs> Ruff, microphone, Mike? microphone, microphone, um, hit, bit, tit, <laughs> tit. lit, that's 11, writ, written, r- r- rise, ro- rosen, throw, through, time, oh. I wasn't that bad, actually, <laughs> I, don't know. I think you got like maybe 15, I should have went 17, more, 18. I should have went more rhymey, do you want me to do it in like 10 <laughs> seconds, in like seven seconds? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, I'm going to do it anyways. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. 1, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 2, 7, 2, 8, 2, 9, 30. I think you can count to a million without having an A. I don't think you... Well, no, you can't. 1, I think you can. You could count to 1,000. I think you can count to a million. 1,000. No, 1,001. 1,000. Oh, yeah. Well, you can count to 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that cool, though? Do you know the only... Are we just putting off the chip now or trying to keep no, talking? No, 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 no. Do you know the only number that has all of its letters in alphabetical order? Let me think here. O-N-E, no. T-W-E, no. T-W-O, no. That was bad. T-H, Ooh, this is tough. <laughs> You're like counting in your head trying to figure it out. It's a low number, right? I wouldn't call it relatively low. Like you're thinking like it's one of the single digit numbers. It's, it's not. I don't know. Is it? It's not. It can't be a long number. 
all the teens all have teen in them. And yeah. then all all of the other numbers have the same endings. Yeah, that's true. 21, 22. But there's one number that doesn't. It's got to be one of the whole numbers. So 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Are these guesses? Are you guessing? 20, you just, 30, 40, 40. It's 40. Is it? Yes, it's 40. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, <laughs> just want to get around. Breaking news, Manscaped now sells beard products. That's right, they do. They are once again revolutionizing men's grooming with a new product called the Beard Hedger. I'm showcasing it here. He's showcasing it there. From a beard trim to a fresh shave, the technology behind the Beard Hedger allows you to shape your signature beard look. Now you can finally use Manscaped products to make your drapes match your carpet by going to make manscaped.com and using code makeshift for 20% off and free shipping. So we got the product here. We got the product here. I don't know if you've used this yet. Um, so I went to the bar. I had a beard like a few podcasts ago. You still have a beard. I still have a beard, but I had a long beard. Fair. And I went there and I wanted them to like fade it mm-hmm. and like do their you know whole thing. Mm-hmm. And they wound up just cutting it off. And I literally mm-hmm. said to the lady, I said, I could have done this at home. Like they just trimmed it all one length. I used this when it grew back out a little bit more and I trimmed it back mm-hmm. down. I'm never going to a barber again. I don't blame you. There's no reason. To, like, I could fade it. I could, like, experiment with it one length. And I think my beard right now is one of the best it's looked for its short length. It looks pretty good. I appreciate it. It looks Brian. pretty good. Thank you. Yeah. It's time to tame your mane. No one likes all the stubble and beard trouble with um, <laughs> Manscaped um, Beard Hedger. You're able to actually go in and take care of the business the way you need to. The Beard Hedger has 20 hair cutting lengths. Which is wild. That's 19 more than one. And you can get 20 different beard lengths with just this one guard here. Look, you just twist it. Easy maneuvering. For long beards, short beards, it doesn't matter. It's pretty efficient. And it has titanium-coated T-blades. That sounds fancy. It sounds fancy. I've honestly never used some a beard trimmer this fancy. No, me either. I've never owned one, actually. It, really? <laughs> no. I don't have a beard. I guess. Well, I, I just thought shaved. that's... I thought maybe that's why you didn't have the beard. So really, this is for me. This is mainly for you. Yeah. <laughs> that's fair. Um, the Beard Hedger is a high-tech piece of art and travel size package right here that I'm holding, and it will last you a long time with the battery. It's got a strong motor, so it'll keep charging whether the charger is plugged Long in. battery life is what he's trying to say. It has a long battery life. <laughs> I can't. It's real tough. The company that helped reduce nicks and cuts on your special place has come to save your face with the beard trimmer. So get 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Use code MAKESHIFT. You'll get 20% off. You can't beat that deal. And free shipping. And free shipping. You will also get free shipping. Don't forget the shipping. Manscaped Beard Hedger. One stroke, one guard, 20 lengths. Go get yours today. MAKESHIFT. Free shipping. Get after it. 20% off. (laughs) (laughs) We're doing the one chip challenge. It is time. We are here. We have to do it. I'm terrified. I'm pretty scared, horrified. You got your milk? I got my milk. Leche. Leche. Um, how'd we get here? So we posted a video when we hit a million followers on TikTok and said we would do whatever the top comment says. The top comment was do the one chip challenge. And then it got deleted. And, then and it got adop- deleted. They said adopt a baby, but realistically, we can't adopt a baby. We can, but we're not going to. No, we, we said can't. within <laughs> reason. <laughs> I, we can't adopt a baby. Why? All right. So we're doing the one chip challenge, and I'm opening the chip right now. I'm. You're opening it already? Oh, I'm so scared. Wait, I wait. just got the chills. I'm so wait, scared. But I want to do a draft while we do this. Okay. So what to expect? This is made with Carolina Reaper pepper and scorpion pepper. This high uh-huh. voltage chip was created for shocking... Oh, I smell it. It pleasure. smells horrible. Shocking pleasure of intense heat and pain. What to expect? Tongue takeover, shock the senses, surge of tears, jolt the gut, voltage overload. I'm trying not to touch it. Oh. All right, I got it out. Wait, but what do you want to draft after? Oh! <laughs> what do you want to draft when we do this? So scared. Using this this is what you're using to hold the chip. Yeah. Are we just going for it? I feel like I just have to go for it. Like, I can't talk. I, need, I can't I need, do it. I can't look at it no, for this long. What? You want to just do a typical food draft? Yeah, food draft. I don't understand if... I I, I can't even talk right now. I'm don't so touch scared. your eyes or anything after. I'm not know. touching my eyes. This is our gloves because we don't have gloves. It smells <laughs> horrible. I'm just doing it, Zach. I can't wait. I can't, I can't wait. Do you want me to just I'm go? Sh- I'm shaking. I want to get this over with already. Cheers. I don't want to do this. Cheers. We have to. I'm so co- scared. What's <laughs> the comment, dude? Cheers it. You're going to just do it? I'm going to just do it. 
Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready. Let, dude. I'm shaking. I'm definitely <laughs> shaking a little bit. <laughs> it can't be that bad. It can though, Zach. It can though. I'm really, really scared. I've never, I haven't been this scared in a long time. Are you gonna go milk right after? Should we take a shot of milk before? <laughs> prime, prime the tongue. I'm gonna try and go for it. I think I'm just gonna do it. I don't think it hits right away. I think it's, there's like a five second like absence period, and I think the, the heat is just. Gonna, right, I'm ready right. for it. I'm not. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. As the crazy ones say, bon appetit. <laughs> Should we just do it? No. Mmm. I'm good so far. Me too. I'm gonna hit after. I swallowed. It's hot. Blue tongue. You have it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, don't laugh. It hurts more if you laugh. <laughs> I feel fine. <laughs> it's starting to heat up, though. <laughs> the hiccups definitely come. <laughs> I'm going to throw up. <laughs> you have like a bucket. <laughs> it's not not hot. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's heating up. <laughs> oh, it's hot. <laughs> Drafting the best foods. <laughs> Number one overall. I'm going to go with chicken parm. <laughs> I'm taking chicken bar for so long. It's so hot. <laughs> it really hits the back of your throat. I need you to pick. Pizza. Right. <laughs> mm. The milk's refreshing. Oh, it's so hot. All right, number two overall. I'm going to take a staple in a lot of our drafts. I'm going to take pasta. There's a lot of variety. And you do it with a lot of things. Steak. It's in my throat. <laughs> I can't. When I get in this situation, I laugh. Third overall, I'm going to take my favorite food, lamb chops. Ooh, what a stupid pick. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I can't think. Buffalo wings. <laughs> it's so hot. I feel like I'm handling it pretty well. I feel pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I just. <laughs> I'm gonna take chicken at four. Or I have chicken parm already, but <laughs> I feel like chicken's a pretty. I'm just. I can't even think. So I'm gonna go chicken. All right, what you got? Fourth. <sighs> Cheeseburgers. <laughs> I can't run out of milk. I can't. Uh, oh, jeez. <coughs> with, my, with my last pick, I'm going to go a wild card. I'm going to go burritos. I love burritos. I love Chipotle. Hmm. Mexican food. Why is it getting hotter still? Really? I feel like mine's starting to just kick. <coughs> <laughs> Who's your last pick? How I'm much milk you drank? <laughs> the milk is really helping. Who's your last pick? 
chips. <laughs> Specifically this chip and the one chip challenge. No. I feel like I'm going to throw up from all this milk. <laughs> Honestly, overall, not that bad. What? <laughs> so hot. All I know is whatever's coming out of me tomorrow is going mm. to come out hot. Mm -mm. That was the one chip challenge. <laughs> we did it. I would do it again. I would not do it again. I feel good about that one. That was really, really hot. Thanks yep. for watching. Thanks for watching. That was the one chip challenge. Brian here. You'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. We got we the blue good. tongues, I think. I'm going to throw off. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap for the podcast.